Mark Stewart, product manager at Dean Guitars, and this is NAMM 2014. I've kind of brought you to the artist section over here. I want to hit a couple pieces on these walls. Um, Michael Amott, obviously, arch enemy, great guy, funny guy, good guy, awesome guitar player. Their last album, Chaos Legions, was a fantastic album, and Michael had asked us, hey, could you, uh, could you by chance do a Chaos Legions guitar for me? So we did this. This is a a one-off piece that we did. We had made one for Michael, he used it on the tour, and I said, why don't we bring out another one and show it at the show and see what kind of reaction it gets. It's the album cover artwork, very cool. USA Limited Edition, it has his signature DMT pickup in the bridge position, and I believe we put a time capsule in the neck position. His Volk nut inlays, just a great sounding guitar. But here we have the, his tried and true Tyrant Splatter. The great thing about this guitar, very cool graphic. You can see the Arch Enemy logo in there, buried into the blood splatter. Bolt-on maple neck rosewood fingerboard, 22 frets. Matching the graphic on the headstock. We've had this out in the line for a couple years, but we like to bring it out to the show every now and then, show our dealers what we, what we have in the line. And this is 299 Street. And we brought this one out last year. This is a set neck version of his Tyrant guitar. Again, his signature pickup in the bridge position. Chrome pickup rings, rosewood fingerboard, again the Volk nut inlays, matching veneer, flame veneer headstock. Michael's logo there on the truss rod. Set neck, 22 fret. It is a short scale, I believe, 24 3 quarter. Rover tuners. It's a great looking guitar, and we did this in uh, flame top trans black. So that's what we brought out from Michael this year. And then we have another Michael on the roster. You might have heard of him, Michelangelo Badio. Or maybe you haven't. No, Mikey, we've heard of you. And last year we did a seven string for Michael. Extremely popular. We brought it back again this year to show everybody at the show. To give you an idea, we don't just show what's new at NAMM. We bring out about 40 to 50 new pieces every year, and on top of that, we hang about 160 to 170 guitars, be it bluegrass, be it basses, electrics, semi-hollow bodies, ukuleles, travel guitars. We bring out everything. We are a company for everybody. If you're an independent dealer and you, you want a banjo, we have a banjo. You want a ukulele, we have that. You want a travel guitar, we have that. You want, you want basses, 12-string basses, 8-string basses. We do it all. This is interesting, I want to talk about this. As I saw a post this morning out here at NAMM on Guitar World's website that they had posted a picture of this guitar. This is based off of Michael's Ritz guitar that he used, oh God, I, back in the Nitro days in the 80s. And uh, a lot of people don't know what it is, they don't get it. Um, they're like, oh, it's, you know, it's a weird looking guitar, but there's lineage here, there's a history to this guitar. And it's 29 frets. So in case, you know, only amazing guitar players like Michael and, uh, and Nats can hear at that register, because I can, my hearing shot. It is a bolt-on maple neck, rosewood fingerboard. It's a mahogany body. This is an aluminum plate. It's not riveted. We used heavy screws in there, but we're talking about putting rivets in it, because that's what Michael's originally had. Floyd Rose 1000 bridge. A humbucker in a single coil, one volume and a three-way pickup selector mini switch. Very cool guitar, very unique, totally Michael style. I don't think he's seen it here yet today, so when he's done signing, we're gonna show it to him and see what he thinks. And we're, believe, we're thinking about streaming this guitar anywhere from $6.99 to $7.99. It will include a hard shell case. It will have a uh, certificate of authenticity from Michael. And we're gonna see how uh, what the reactions are this year at NAMM to see uh, when we'll be putting that in the line. And the last one I want to show you here from Michael, this is a, a, the Blowtorch USA. This is just a one-off that we did. I think it fits perfectly for Michael's theatrics. He plays so fast that he lights the guitar on fire, so why not literally light one of his guitars on fire? I believe it's an old ma mahogany. Uh, maybe it's an old alder. I can't even tell anymore. It's so burnt. I don't even know what wood's on here. But it's definitely pretty cool. We did sell this. This is a one-off. We melted the pickups, but they still work. That's important. Just a cool look. Maybe we'll have Michael play that at his gig tonight.
So that's it for some of the artist guitars here at NAMM 2014. Hope you guys are enjoying it. Have a good time.